Happy New Year and welcome to the first Fargus of the year. So this reading is all about goals and aspirations for 2018 plus life after the retrograde. So I'll be doing the relationship right now and where do we go from here spread. Let's take a look what's going to be in store for you this 2018 Leo or what should be your goals and aspirations. This is your career objective. You're pretty much sorry. You're pretty much successful with whatever you do. Talents and skill, pitfalls, support potential, your inner strength, promises progress, the force that will be guiding you, outcome, bottom line. Woohoo! Now you're getting what you want, you're successful, you are you know, actually continuously accelerating to your own field right now. However, you're slowly becoming more and more stiff and more walled up. You're slowly losing your ability to socialize and to express yourself to other people as well. Okay, Which is in your current uh, profession. You also need to socialize, to network, and to reach out to other people so that you can earn more leverage and you can have more wider perspective and wider, let's say, authority, network, and influence. Okay? The main thing here is this is going to be your pitfall, which is sometimes you're too gullible. There are some things that you tend to believe without even verifying facts. Now, your partner and your relationship is very supportive of whatever it is that you're doing right now. But you tend to be, sometimes you tend to be a little bit frustrated with your situation because it's like you want to reach more, you want to, you want to have more, but sometimes you feel a little bit limited to wherever it is right now, okay, to, I mean, to whatever your situation in your relationship right now, either you have too many kids, you have a lot of kids, you're the one who's only taking care of your kids, or you're the one who's only like taking care of your domestic chores, okay? Now there is a, actually a lot of potential for you to, for you to like reach the next level of your profession or reach the next level of your position, but you need to exert more effort and you need to exert more time, okay, to your job. Like for example, work longer, or participate in this training, seminars, uh, symposiums, or exhibitions, or something like that. But of course, you have to fat sacrifice your time for your family, which is, I feel like it's something that you're not really going to permit, and you're not really, uh, what do you call this, like um, approved, okay? Because of course, family comes first. Now, your inner strength is that. Don't be so afraid to make some changes. Don't be so afraid to sometimes take a break and don't be so afraid to try. Okay, there are some things that even though you feel a little bit limited, but just try. Because when you make a mistake or when you do something, that's how you learn and that's how you get even more wiser. Okay, don't be afraid to try new things. Now, you will be. With this field that you're in right now, with this business that you're thinking or that you're in right now, it will be more beneficial right after six months, especially right after the f last, sorry, the first six months of the year, your life will start moving, will start e get even, I mean, the activities will get even more rapid, more active, and more, there will be more progress and more people coming your way. All right? But just try to be a little bit more logical, try to be a little bit more practical, and try to be a little bit more open-minded, okay, when it comes to finding a solution or when it comes to balancing your life versus your domestic chores or domestic life. And the final outcome of this is that you will be, I feel like this year you will be receiving more recommendations, more references, promotion, and more push or more support from the higher-ups. Okay, so continue whatever it is that you're doing right now. You're blessed, you're guided, and you're being called upon to fulfill your destiny. At the end of the year, there will be a lot of changes and there will be a lot of transitions that's going to come. But 
when your career is soaring up high, it means that your love life will be on fire. That will be the consequence of this. Okay? So, let's take a look at your relationship situation. The relationship right now, and where do we go from here? This is the current energy of the situation. Communication, strength, weakness, reality, passion, bottom line. Well, like what I said, your career is soaring up high, your career is, sorry, your love life is on fire. You need to be more on guard and w keep an eye on your partner. This is your relationship situation. What's causing your problem? What you need to express? Things to consider? What is your main problem? Bottom line. Okay. Someone is acting so proud and someone is up for a mischief okay that's why I'm telling you you need to keep an eye on your partner the communication is that you are both cut off and dry even though your partner supports your relationship uh, sorry your profession and your partner kinds of understands whatever it is that you're doing but I feel like this person is a little bit selfish because for them, it's like, okay, I'm gonna support you to your job, to your profession, that you don't even have time for me or for us, then I'm gonna go and look for my own entertainment. Now, your relationship is slowly getting weak, and the foundation is slowly deterring and slowly deteriorating as well, that both of you are not really addressing the problems thoroughly. You're not really facing it. You're not confronting it. You're not putting a solution. You're not really talking or discussing things. Okay? The reality is that both of you are very successful in your chosen endeavors. But when it comes to your relationship and passion and to your love for each other, it's slowly, let's say, ice is slowly filling it up. Okay, the passion, it's like both of you are so proud and both of you are just, you have your own reasons, you have your own alibis and excuses not to, like for example, make time for each other, make love for each other, go in shopping, go and do groceries together, go and travel, you know, there are a lot of excuses, both of you. To the extent that if you're not going to fix your differences, if you're not going to fix your problems right now, it will just cause both of you to go down, separate, and file for a divorce, okay? You need to ask for some healthy advices, or you need to ask for the opinions of your family members for you to save up this relationship. Now, where do you go from here? Both of you are hanging. Both of you are waiting. Both of you are clinging onto each other but it's like you're not doing anything it's time for you to learn from your own past mistakes and it's time for you to lower down your pride and your ego okay you need to be a little bit more giving forgiving and a little bit it's like you need to make way okay for your domestic life for your relationship and it's not just all about jobs not just all about success and money and fine, you can give all the material things to your partner. Your partner can give you material things as well. But at the end of the day, it's not really what you want. And it's not the reason why you're in a relationship, you know? Now, you need to travel and you need to spend a little bit more time as well. Well, this is what I have also told you. That you've already forgotten how it is to travel, to enjoy, and to do things together. 
share some, some responsibilities and it's time for you to renew your bonding it's not yet too late for you to save up your relationship okay and your main problem here is you're both busy with work you're both busy with your careers where you're both busy making money because you have a lot of responsibilities ambitions and loans and you have a big house to pay but yes it's you know the obligations and responsibilities will always be there but the time and the love it can it can fade away it can actually slip out of your hands or out of your fingers so where do you go from here? Both of you will still be hanging. You started with hanging, you end up with hanging. And one of you needs to give way, one of you needs to make time, and one of you needs to admit that both of you are making a big mistake and you're not really paying attention to each other's needs. Don't be so defensive and don't self-victimize. Just try to come up with a solution so that both of you will always have time for each other otherwise this will just get down to a disaster it's time for you to address the problem otherwise you will end up separating by the end of the year all right let's take a look at your oracle cards Give your relationship a chance. Passion is what you need to renew. Calling your soulmate. Honeymoon. Keep an open mind. Attraction. Chemistry. Make the effort. Deception. You need to keep an eye on your partner. Uh, cheating will always be a part of the equation. You know, there's no such thing as perfect relationship. Now, you need to give your relationship a chance here. You need to pay attention to your relationship and renew your bonds, your connection, your chemistry, and your connection. When you've called out your soulmate, this is what the universe and fate had given you. You just, as I've said, you need to travel, go out there, and renew your bonding, okay? You need to keep an open mind for newer solutions and your mm, resolution, and you're still very much attracted to each other. You still have a lot of connection. You just need to make an effort and stop thinking about finding a solution out of your relationship or outside of your relationship, which is cheating. Now, this is your soulmate. Pay attention to the red flags. And you love is something that you don't really need because the two of you have deeper connections. You are just being tested how far you can go and how strong you can be for each other. Now, the seven of action, you're being called upon to claim your personal power. Feel confident as your angels will give you the strength to say no and it's the right thing to do for yourself. Your, your struggle may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict rather than a conflict with others. Successful completion, this is a time of, of incredible accomplishment. You're justified in feeling joy, a sense of completion, and pride in amazing job. An amazing job you've done. You've been blessed with many spiritual insights. Soon you'll begin a new journey, but for now, take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true. Guardian of abundance, this is a time of great success for you. All your plans and blessed, all your plans are blessed and will move forward perfectly. Unexpected job opportunities arise in the near future. Make sure to accept them. Well, this is just another obstacle to your relationship, but it's good, you know, for singles. 
This card indicates that someone with an amazing career is involved in the situation. This is a powerful person with great integrity who enjoys hard work and this person could be you. Guardian of Thought, you may be called upon to be a spokesperson for a cause close to your heart. Your angels will give you the perfect words and you'll do brilliantly. You may be asked to be a mentor or find one yourself. The situation involves someone who's professional with a positive attitude and fresh ideas. This person who could be you may be emotionally unavailable. Nine of Action, you've worked hard to create the things you cherish in your life, such as beloved relationships, amazing accomplishments, and hearth and home. Rest assured that all these treasures and you are being constantly protected by your angels. In return, Mother Earth, the animals, and the environment needs your protection. Messenger of Emotion, this is the beginning of a new emotional experience that could grow into something deeper. You may receive a message expressing feelings you didn't even know were developing. A social invitation could soon be on its way to you. There's a person involved who's very gentle and loving with only the kindest of intentions. It could be you, especially if you're artistic, shy, and sensitive. Six of thought, peaceful times are on the horizon, the storms have passed, and now you can see that your destination is within sight. The stress in your life will begin to fade away, allowing for happier times. It may be necessary to, to take a journey over water or to another country. Nine of emotion, there, this is a magical time in your life when wishes are granted and dreams come true. It may seem that good luck is following you, but actually these happy times are just your reward for being a loving and wonderful person. Your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and have more fun. Six of emotion, memories can fill your heart with many emotions. It's important to remember your past accurately. Without seeing it as a better or worse than it was, people you used to know may return to your life unexpectedly. Children could be an important issue or you may need to reconnect with your own inner child. It's actually hard when you don't have my reading glasses. But anyway, that's it for you for now, Leo. And if you want to have more personalized readings or in-depth insights, go and visit me at my website. It's vangel.net. You may talk to me live on the phone or live video readings or live chat. Okay? And we are continuously doing a lot of progress and developments in my website like forum membership page and soon we will be announcing the Sophia Angel community okay it's like a small Facebook uh, website okay that offers more services for the members of Sophia Angel so thank you for liking sharing subscribing and watching my videos thank you for following me on Twitter and joining my Facebook page all right blessings to you and have a great month of January mm -hmm.